Hello everyone, welcome to Neat Buddy. Today we are going to provide you with 15 MCQs from the topic that you're seeing on your screen. So the practice of these MCQs will give you confidence and you would be able to score better in the coming Neat exams. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one, identify the odd one out. Option A, walls. Option B, periodic abstinence. Option C, IUCDs or option D, diaphragms. You have to identify of these four options, which one is odd one out. The correct answer is option B, that is periodic abstinence is the odd one. And why so? Because periodic abstinence is a natural method of contraception. And what are the other two natural methods of contraception given in the book? Right. One is lactational amenorrhea and another one is cetus interruptus. Question number two, which among the following is or are not a copper releasing IUDs? Copper T, Lipus loop, LNG20 or both B and C. Which of the following is not a copper releasing intrauterine device? The correct answer is option D. Both Lipus loop and LNG20 are not copper releasing IUDs. Question 3. Contraceptive pills does not. Option A. Engulf the sperm. Option B. Alter the quality of cervical mucus. Option C. Prevent the entry of sperm. Or option D. Inhibit implantation. Contraceptive pills does not. The correct answer is option A. It does not engulf the sperm. Question 4. Expand MPP. Option A. Mechanical transfer of pollen. Option B. Medical termination of parturition. Option C. Medical termination of pregnancy. Or option D. Maternally transmitted pathogens. Expand MTP. What does MTP stand for? The correct answer is option C. Medical termination of pregnancy. The MTP Act is an important section of the NCRT and often they even ask in which year MTP was passed. Right, 1971 was the year in which the MTP Act was passed. So MTP 1971, you need to remember this. Question 5. Find the correct pair. IUD, cervical caps, in vivo fertilization, ZIFT, Intracytoplasmic sperm injection, IUT. In vitro fertilization, test tube baby. Find the correct pair. The correct answer is option D. In vitro fertilization, test tube baby is the correct pair. Question number 6. Lactational amenorrhea can prevent the chances of fertilization up to a maximum period of option A, two months, option B, one year, option C, one month or option D, six months. Lactational amenorrhea can prevent chances of fertilization up to a maximum period of. The correct answer is option D, six months. And what is lactational amenorrhea? Right, it is one of those natural contraceptions. And what is the Principle behind lactational amenorrhea, the word itself really reveals its principle. Lactational, it means milk feeding by the mother. And amenorrhea is there is no menstrual cycle. So immediately after parturition, after giving birth to a child, the mother, while she is feeding the child by her breast milk, doesn't has menstrual cycle. So if any cetus is carried out during that period, then there will be no chances of fertilization. So the question is asking for how many duration, for how many months or years is this lactational amenorrhea successful? And the answer is six months. Question seven. Use of intrauterine devices or IUDs is one of the most widely accepted method of contraception in India because option A. They increase the phagocytosis of sperm suppressing the sperm mortality option b they make the uterus unsuitable for implantation or option c 
reduce the fertilizing capacity of sperms or option D all the above. The correct answer is option D all the above. All these three are advantages of intrauterine devices or all these three are mechanisms by which the intrauterine devices act. Question 8. An ideal contraceptive should not be option A user friendly, option B irreversible, option C effective with least side effects, option D easily available. Which of following should not be a characteristic of ideal contraceptive? The correct answer is option B. It should not be irreversible. That is, an ideal contraceptive should be reversible in nature. Question 9. After tubectomy, which part of the female reproductive system remains blocked? Cervix, uterine cavity, ovary or fallopian tube? The correct answer is option D, fallopian tube. The term itself is suggesting it, tubectomy. We are cutting the fallopian tube. And what is the counterpart in male called as? Right, vasectomy. We are cutting the vas difference of the males. Question 10. In vitro fertilization technique results in formation of zygote or early embryo. Where is this transferred to? In in vitro fertilization technique, zygote or early embryo up to 8 blastomeres is transferred into uterus, vagina, cervical canal or fallopian tube. The correct answer is option D. Up to 8 blastomeres, it is transferred to fallopian tube. Question number 11. Copper ions released from copper releasing IUD make uterus unsuitable for implantation, increase phagocytosis of sperms, suppress sperm motility or option D prevent ovulation. The correct answer is option C. They suppress sperm motility. Question number 12. Which of the following is used to control human population? Estrogen plus progesterone, IUCD and MTP, tubectomy and vasectomy or option D all of above. The correct answer is option D all of above. Question number 13. Which extra embryonic membrane in humans prevent desiccation of the embryo inside the uterus? Chorion, Allantois, Yolk sac, Amnion. The correct answer is option D, Amnion. Question number 14. A change in the amount of yolk and its distribution in the egg will affect pattern of cleavage, amount of blast, number of blastomeres produced, fertilization, formation of zygote. The change in amount of yolk and its distribution in egg will affect. The correct answer is option A, the pattern of cleavage. Question number 15. Ectopic pregnancy are referred to as pregnancies terminated due to hormonal imbalance, pregnancies with genetic abnormality, implantation of embryo at the site other than uterus, implantation of defective embryo in the uterus. The correct answer is option C, implantation of embryo at site other than uterus. So those are the MCQs for today. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs at this very place, this very time from the next chapter of class 12th NCRT biology. We are doing the daily biology MCQ test series over here where we are providing you MCQs every day from one of the chapters of class 11th or class 12th in CRT biology so that you get a lot of practice before the coming NEET exam. So we'll see you tomorrow. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.